Good evening, computer. Good evening, sir. How can I help you today? Take me to Metropolis. Sure. Just say the magic word. Boom. You know that feeling when you've had a bit of a meh day in work and it's a Monday and all you want to do is go home, close your eyes and go to sleep. But then when you get through the door you find some post waiting for you and it's car tax. <laughs> Yay! But then you open that car tax and you find it's a bit cheaper than last year. And suddenly, even though it's many, things start to get a little bit better. Um, and then you find another parcel, you open it up, and it's Sonic the Hedgehog on Blu-ray, and things improve yet again. And then there's one final parcel, a parcel you completely forgot about, sent from a good friend, and it puts a big smile on your face when you find out what's inside. And this is a parcel I received from Interghost. This is the parcel. And there you have it. I'm just going to show you that bit and the bit that says a bit of Wales on here. He wrote Wales in really big letters. Um, so basically, before the lockdown happened, um, I've been friends with Indigo Snow on YouTube for quite a while and we stay in touch outside of YouTube as well. And on the Facebook Marketplace, I think it was Facebook Marketplace, he found a set of Animals of Father and Wood books that um, he knew as a kid. Uh, I really enjoyed that cartoon series and he knew I had some of the comics and uh, the odd book here and there. But I think he found a complete collection. Uh, well, as far as we know, this is the complete collection. It's pretty heavy as well. So here are all the Animals of Father and Wood books. 1 to 20. I'm not sure if there are more, but I'll find out. Uh, you pick them up for me. I think it was a pretty decent price. And these look to be in stunning condition. I haven't opened any of these yet. But um, I might have one or two of these. I can sh I'll show you the second. I just remembered something from my second book. So they're all quite slim. Um, you know, the normal buzz books used to get as a kid. Uh, look at that. Snowy scene. Amazing. It's not a snowy scene. It looks like a snowy scene. I, tell, I told you, long day at work. That is cool. I can't remember which ones I had of this. Not as... Maybe not even a third of that pile. So it's, it follows the story from the beginning. Who was the author? I think it was Dan something. I can't remember his name. I'm not sure if he wrote these books though. So we've got Farewell to the Wood. The Adventure Begins. That's what made me smile. I remember that scene of the crossing the road. Don't know why that made me smile because that was a pretty nasty scene. Actually, I don't think that's the one. I think that's uh, further on in this story. Hedgehogs, motorway, that's all I'm going to say. That didn't put a smile on my face. But I'll show you what did soon. As well as these books. Uh, Fire. A New Friend. Heroes, I think that's when they're at the quarry and they meet Heron for the first time looking at that scene. The Silent Field, can't really remember what that is. The Storm Shelter, these are in great condition, really, really good. So yeah, so Intercoast found these for me before the lockdown, but then obviously when that happened, uh, we messaged and said, look, don't bother sending them until it's safe again to get back out there and all that jazz. And good things come to those who wait. Uh... Journey's End, so that must be when they find White Deer Park. Yeah, so a new home there, I remember this. Uh, White Deer Park, there was a, s s quite a few episodes where it was all snow and they meet Scarface. Yeah, it's up there actually. This Scarface, not sure if that's uh, focused. Badger in Danger. Oh, the Great White Stag. And welcome visitors. That's probably when they had poachers. You go one pound seventy-five back in the day. This book, crazy, eh? 
Um, Spring Awakens. So I think that's when Fox and Fixin have their cubs. What are they called? Bold, Dreamer, Charmer, Shadow. Oh, Bold, Trouble in the Park, Showdown, Showdown, Showdown. Draw. Considering this is like a kid series, it is really harsh because a lot of characters, spoiler, get killed off. I'm not sure if it's as bad in the book as it was in the cartoon, but I'm going to guess so. And then that kids watch that. I mean, that's traumatizing, man. The kids love animals. Um, peace. Strangers in the Park. The Weasel's Adventure. To the Rescue. And then, book number 20. The Rat Spy. So... There was a third series I didn't see all of uh, when rats took over White Deer Park. So it might follow on again. So I don't think this is the final story. But to have those books 120 there, unless they weren't published, who knows? Uh, after some research. In that condition uh, in 2020, it's pretty damn awesome. So yeah, cheers into Ghost. But that's not where it ended, which put an even bigger smile on my face. Um, oh, I don't know which one to show first. Intergos sent me some VHS along with the books. Um, I thought the parcel was pretty heavy. And one of them, one of my favourite films of all time. Uh, oddly enough, when I have had a bad day like today, it's not been that bad, but it's not been great. Um, there's one film that I can watch which will always cheer me up. Uh, it's random, I love my random humour, and that is Muppet Treasure Island, with Jim Carrey there. Obviously, there you go, it's the poster on the wall. That's amazing, I look at that myself. Yeah, oh that's awesome. So there is, I never had Muppet Treasure Island on VHS uh, as a kid. Uh, tell a lie, I recorded it off TV on VHS, then I had it on DVD. And now I've got it on Blu-ray and proper official VHS. So there you go. That's that one. Yeah, that one, because there's two more. The second one, another favourite of mine. There's, uh, there's a theme to this. It's all pirates and buried treasure and the boy who did grow up in this uh, version, Hook. Absolutely adore this film. Um, remember watching this years ago. Another one I had taped on VHS. Um, I've watched this on Netflix a couple times recently, I think, and I've got this on Blu-ray as well. Um, yeah, I just love the story of Peter Pan and Never Growing Up. I would love to fly away to Neverland today, I tell you. But yeah, and such a great cast in this as well. Dustin Hoffman, Robin Williams, Shirley Roberts, Bob Hoskins. Absolutely fantastic, mate. Look at that, green as well. That's cool. And then the final VHS in the Ghost Set Me is one I used to own as a kid and have a lot of nostalgia for. Um, and that is, I think this was only one release as well, The Legends of Treasure Island. If you've been with me a while, you would have seen me uh, mention this a few times. Like my 90s kids series, I've talked about the cartoon on there. I've got animation cells. Um, and this is the VHS I used to have. I don't think there was another release. I'll have to check. Um, but I used to own this on um, video as a kid. And you might go, whoa, why didn't you? You've kept a lot of your stuff. Why didn't you keep these ones? Well, when like DVD came in, I thought, oh, what's the point of videos now? And I got rid of them all. And like, my favorites I bought back on DVD. But this uh, VHS tape actually went to my cousins. And um, when I've been there now, uh, it's about two hours away odd. They've still got this. It's at my auntie's house. And um, I was in the living room. And there's a cabinet. And it was there on the floor. I was like, what? After all these years, you've still got my Treasure Island um, VHS in your house. That was absolutely amazing. I um, hope my cousins enjoyed watching this as much as I did. I'll have to ask them. Um, 
yeah, once again, you can see the theme here, Treasure Island, Pirates, Hook, Muppet Treasure Island. It's all connected. It's all me. I think maybe that's my biggest adventure, going off looking for buried treasure, becoming a pirate, or the boy who... I've kind of become that anyway, who didn't grow up. Uh, so, Interghost, thank you very much for those. Really do appreciate it. Looking forward to watching Sonic again, and looking forward to actually watching these on VHS, because that would be proper nostalgic. And I do have a VHS player. And those are in stunning condition. Right, guys, so that is it from me. Uh, bad day has suddenly become great day. And I've got some chocolate raisins as well. Not from Indigo, so I bought those myself, but you have to cheer yourself up somehow. This is uh, more than done the trick. Right, guys, um, I shall leave a link to Indigo's channel in the description below, and you can go check him out. And as ever, guys, double boom, brighten your day soon.